What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? I'm on the IG coming to you on the FB next. Then to the YouTube. Just give y'all a shout out. Good morning. Good morning. It is the 33rd Wednesday in 2020. The 33rd week in 52 to get you through. This is 32, 33 of 52 to get you through. Tongue tied. 33 of 52, 20. It's Wednesday. It's Hope Day. It is actually August the 12th, 2020. You know, I haven't been on the IG and the Facebook for a minute with lives. But we're going to keep it that way because I'm doing YouTube now. Go ahead and subscribe to my page. A lot of y'all know where it's at. But I love y'all's Darren D. Price's syllabus coming at you on another blessed day, y'all. <laughs> Can y'all smell that? Y'all hear? Can y'all smell it? Y'all smell it? It's blessings. Woo! It's faith. It's glory. It's grace and mercy. So I'm coming to y'all again with a quick shout out. I don't really have um, nothing to say but great things as always. But I got to let you know in case some of y'all never seen it. Y'all can subscribe to my YouTube page. That'd be cool. That'd be great. Enjoy yourself. Uh, a lot of great videos, positive motivation, a couple songs on there, a couple lyrics, but some good knowledge, good facts, good wisdom for everybody. 100,000 people die every week, at least that's what the numbers say, give or take, but it's always um, something to somebody, doesn't matter how, whether it's suicide, dis-ease, disease, whichever one is going to happen, it's bound to happen, and that's the whole thing that we got to understand, that no matter what, one day, you're going to get your ticket punched to take that final flight, however it happens. But I'm here to deliver some hope, help other people excel, have that faith by forwarding all issues to heaven, and knowing that God has got your back, front, side, top, and bottom no matter what. And it's not going to change. So I just need you to be aware of that first and foremost. And I'm just dropping a nugget or two on y'all this morning. It's a little early, just out taking care of some things. But y'all see me talking about residual income. Y'all see me talking about faith. See me talking about investing in yourself and loving and believing in yourself. And that comes with a lot of work. But don't be stuck in this poverty mindset. And some people can't help it because of their environment. But some people can change their environment. And it starts in your mind, it starts in your spirit, it starts in your heart and your soul if you really want to do it. So no matter what your actual surroundings look like, it's about how you perceive it. It's about what you're going to do about it. Life is 10% what happens to you, but it's 90% how you react. You can invest, you can save, you can sow seeds and plant seeds for a future you can still do it. doesn't matter where you are in your life. It's just sitting down, taking the time. Number one is not blaming everybody else for where you were and where you are right now so that you can see the forest. Don't, don't miss the forest because of the trees that are in front of you. You can't do that. It doesn't make any sense, right? You just stay in a little mindset. So you have this mindset. And if you can imagine a triangle, I posted it earlier. A triangle with this tip point to the top and let's say that's your circumstances and then on the left corner you have beliefs and on the right corner you have mindset so because you have circumstances you can handle it by your belief and your mindset now some people live and that's a that's a a, a positive mentality a faith forward mentality some people live with, with the triangle upside down where the point is at the bottom. You got the two line, line at the top, line there, line there. And the point is at the bottom. And you got belief up here, you got mindset up here, and then down here you got circumstances. So you're living off of your circumstances, which means your belief and, and mindset is just teetering back and forth. Because you're not sure of what you're doing, who you are, why you're doing it, because you keep trying to live off of your circumstances so you got to change that you got to change that mentality because that's a fear mindset the faith is taking your circumstances and working and living off of your belief 
and your mindset because that's your foundation. Don't make circumstances your foundation is what I'm telling you. It's not worth it. If you have been, look around. If you want something different, you got to do something different. If you want different results, guess what? You got to do something different, right? <clears throat> so because you're still breathing, because you're still living, you have the opportunity to do that. It starts right now. It starts today, immediately, right now. So you have that opportunity to do it. So I'm encouraging you to do it. I just stopped by to tell you, you can still do it. No matter. You're still here. You're still breathing. Doesn't matter. We made it this far. God ain't just drop us off to leave us. He gave us free will to choose to have a positive mindset or a negative mindset. And we know positivity is, is God-based. And we know a negative mindset is of the evil spirit. And that's the devil. So you got to think. <clears throat> don't let the weapons formed against you be confused about the weapons that you formed against yourself. So we got to remember that. First off, we always try to blame other people for what we've been through, what we've dealt with, and, and so on. Different things like that. And you know, some people did cause situations, but it's how you respond to those situations. Or do you even respond to them at all? You're blessed, number one. If somebody's telling you anything negative, if somebody's spewing hatred at you, whether it's through text message, email, phone call, or just telling you that you're never gonna be nothing or that you did this, that, and the other. If you did it, okay, it's in the past. But don't let that make you what you are today. Some people wanna hold grudges. Some people don't wanna forgive. But the thing is, they don't want to forget themselves. It's not necessarily you. Some people still want to live off of the past. Some people are mad at the decisions that you made because they didn't make the decisions when they had an opportunity to make the decisions. So you still have the opportunity to make a difference. Now, some people get mad because you make decisions because they may have said, well, I don't have to make a decision. I don't have to give any input. I don't have to make a decision. I don't have to. You're right. Nobody has to do anything. But when you make a decision, you go with that decision, especially when you know you've extended your hand to, to accept input and advice and people don't give it. You make that decision and you stick with it and you go for it. No matter what. Don't let anybody tear you down because they had an opportunity. And when opportunities keep coming for you, it comes for everybody. So instead of dwelling on what happened in the past and what decisions that weren't made, now look at the opportunity that's come by you again to receive increase, to make a choice, to make a better move than what you didn't make before. Stop holding yourself in this grudge and holding the coal in your hand. You gotta make a decision. You gotta make a decision. If nobody's gonna make one, you gotta make it, right? So don't sit there and wait around for people to make decisions. They're waiting on you to do something so that they can talk about you, criticize you. They're gonna do it anyway. <clears throat> if you do good, they're gonna say something. If you do bad, they're gonna say something. If you make a decision, they're gonna say something. If you don't make a decision, they're, not, they're gonna say something. So do the best you. That's my encouragement for y'all today. I am making a YouTube video later on. And I encourage you to, number one, pray and pray often. Pray hard, pray often. Pray hard, pray often. For protection, for guidance, for, for, for favor. Pray now. Thank God for what is to come because he's blessing you right now. I promise you he's blessing you right now. You may not see it. It may not come the way you think so. But he's blessing you right now. I'm blessing everybody around you. So may God bless your day. Bless everything and everything that you do in the favor of him. Don't be selfish. Be loving. Be kind. Be gentle. Be forgiving. Forgive yourself first. But don't surround yourself around negative people. It's not worth it. The, anything that you put out there in the earth is what you're going to get back. So if you spew a negativity and hate, you're only doing it to yourself. So I love you guys. Peace out. Stay up. Happy Hope Day. Help other people excel today because there's no other way.
Love you guys. Peace out.